our toggle switch you can see that it is on the left so it says left button pressed i bring it in the center it says center i bring it on the right it says right so this is how it is working guys welcome to learning microcontrollers so guys in this lecture i'm gonna show you how you can interface a three pin toggle switch with an arduino uno so let's get started so this is a normal toggle switch you find in the market it has three pins it is also available in the six pin configuration as well but the one i am using is having three pins now guys the center i call vcc the left one is signal the right one is the signal as well you can like uh, make any labeling based upon the circuit you are going to make the circuit i'm going to make over here i'm going to use this convention the left one signal the right one signal the center one is the vcc now guys this over here is our arduino uno let's do the connections so this is our toggle switch again the center one is vcc left signal right signal now to connect it with an arduino uno you need either a pull up or a pull down resistor so in short you will need two 10k resistors one for each signal pin now guys for the vcc pin just connect it directly to the 5 volt pin of your arduino uno for the uh, resistors you connect one end, one end of the each resistor together like this this you send to the ground like this now guys uh, for the left signal pin I connect it to the one end of the first 10k resistor from the same pin I will take out my output for the output you can use any available digital input output pin of your Arduino Uno I'm gonna use a pin number seven now for the other signal pin I connect it to the second 10k resistors one end which was empty like this from the same pin I will take out my output again I can use any available digital input output pin so I'm gonna use a pin number 10 like this now this is our simple circuit now this circuit is these two resistor 10k resistors are connected in such a way that whenever the toggle switch is either on the left or on the right a one will be sent so whenever a button is pressed a one is sent if you correct the 10k resistor at the grounding end like this so in this formation this will be the edge so you can make the other formation as well the inverted one whenever the button is pressed a zero is sent it's up to you so guys let me show you the hardware then we move on to the programming so guys this is our simple hardware there we have the toggle switch there we have the Arduino Uno wiring is as shown in the presentation so simple as that so let's move on to the programming over here is our Arduino Uno Arduino IDE sorry I click on file new new window pops up first of all before doing anything else click on file and save your work write any name you prefer I just write toggle like this and press enter it saves our work wait okay now we can start the programming okay I remove these comments I don't need these. if you want you can keep them so first of all we have two pins connected to the toggle switch let's initialize them I call pin mode pin mode pin number seven as input because a button will send data to the pin so it is input pin again I write the same command pin mode and this time the pin number 10 now as I told you the 10k resistor 10k resistor is connected in such a way that whenever a button is pressed one is set this means initial state must be zero so this means that the initial state must be zero if a button is pressed a one is sent so by by default digital right make the pin number seven go low so by default if the button is not pressed we should have low state at the pin else it will take the button as pressed do the same for the pin number 10 like this so this is how we initialized our button we initialize the pin define the pin direction then we gave the initial state now we can like use these for anything so we will use a serial uh, terminal we will display whatever the button status is on the serial monitor so for that initialize the serial port serial dot begin and the board rate you can set any you prefer i will set 9600 that will be the same board rate on the serial monitor whenever you want to see the results so first of all we initialize the variable to read the pins so i write int i call that uh, signal uh, i call signal one that is the name of the variable digital read and from pin number seven so signal one will read the signal coming from the button from the digital pin seven 
do the same for the other pin just copy paste it and make it signal 2 from the pin 10 like this now we can choose the if else conditions or any condition you prefer to program them i write if if uh, if uh, signal 1 double equal to 1 this means that button suppose the button is on the left uh, signal 1 represents the left side i call it i display a string called on the serial terminal serial dot print ln left button pressed okay that will be displayed on the screen if the signal 1 is double equal to 1 like we toggle switch is on the left side so else if else if signal 2 double equal to 1 then then what it will do it will do the it will say right button pressed i call it okay th that's uh, fine okay else else if both are not pressed i call it it's the center like toggle switch is in the center okay we need semicolon here else it will give error like this okay serial print center okay left button pressed if signal is one if signal two is one right button pressed else if both are not pressed both are zero it means we are in the center so that's a simple code i click on verify to check for errors okay no errors that perfect i click on upload so the code will be uploaded to the microcontroller done compiling okay done uploading that's perfect okay let's move to the hardware to see our results so let me place this at some place where you can see both the serial monitor this here so you can see both the toggle switch and the terminal okay open the serial monitor click on tools there you have serial monitor okay it says in the center okay the toggle switch is in the center okay this is true it is in the center okay now we move it to one side okay so we are on the left so it says right button so this is not an issue you can just change the code it's a right side so we change the code to make it same so this is the right this is the right and this is left i didn't check the hardware so we do the correction so i upload the new code so it will make the correction itself so signal one is the right left is the okay now it says on the left side okay that's perfect we are on the left side now i bring the toggle switch to the center okay it's in the center it says center now i bring it to the right it says right so that's perfect so again the center now this is the center now if it's left so it's left so by using this three pin toggle switch and three state toggle switch we can have like three states left right center so we can make use of these three states to do the programming as you can see this is a program you can use this program in any type of device that you are making so this is will be of great help in various projects so guys this is it if you guys have any questions please do ask. We'll see you in the next lecture. Goodbye until then.